Hey there, this is Alex Klein, Social Media Manager for Conducive Technologies. I'm here with Howard Butler, who's our Senior Director of System Engineering and Field Support. And we're here to talk to you about some forum posts that we've been seeing around lately. This one in particular is from FlightSim.com by a user named Loki. And Loki says, defrag isn't needed on SSDs, and the trim function is not defragging. Programs like DiskKeeper, our product, Included to try to stay relevant as people slowing, or actually it should be slowly, move to SSDs. Windows 7 automatically runs a trim function itself, and many of the SSD vendors have their own free tools if you still want to manually force the trim, the trim process. Also, some SSDs have their own internal garbage collection processes that perform a similar function. This isn't something I would pay for. So, a lot of interesting points here in this post. So, I'll send it over to Howard to kind of figure out what's going on here. Well, thanks, Loki, for sending up some information out there and so forth. But one of the things I want to point out right off the bat is that the notion to defrag SSDs, traditional defrag certainly should not be done. But the notion that SSDs don't slow down associated to file and free space fragmentation is just plain BS. Okay. SSDs do suffer from the effects of file and free space fragmentation, just like traditional magnetic storage does, uh, in the sense that you just will never get the manufacturer's full rate of uh, speed capacity as the file system tends to fragment. This is something I've drawn test on and can clearly document the facts that SSDs do taper off in their performance ability. Um, trim, you're absolutely correct. Trim actually has nothing to do with fragmentation or handling fragmentation. It is more of a concept to be able to clean up space that has been marked as free, such that the SSD can write data to a free space. It has to be erased first, so that's a very time-consuming process. So trim and defrag are actually two different type of functions. Defragmenting or traditional defrag should not be used on SSDs, but you certainly should optimize SSDs to get the full manufacturer's performance. Uh, as far as what uh, people are saying about Windows 7 automatically runs trim, that's true, but it's not certainly triggered frequently enough. Um, garbage collection, like I said, associated with trim and being able to clean up the space that has been written to, but has now recently been marked as free space. Uh, before an SSD can write new data to a memory cell that's already been written to previously, it has to zero that, that information out, and that's a very time-consuming process. So that's something that our product can trigger and do for you automatically in the background with no added overhead. So, Loki, thank you very much for your question, but I'm sorry, eh, you're wrong today. Thanks very much for playing. Bye-bye. All right, so um, you folks can check out conducive.com forward slash blog for a follow-up post on this video that will contain some graphs and some other information. You can read it by yourself. Um, thanks for watching.